kids so so let's move on to the topic keel so keel of a ship is a, it is a bottom most plate of ship laid along the ender lines of ship so keel is a bottom most plate that you can be seen laid in the bottom most plate of ship commonly it is referred to as ship's backbone so it is also known as keel is also called as ship's backbone so backbone means it gives a structure backbone during construction of ship this is the first thing that is placed on the block on the block this is the first thing this is the keel is the first thing that is placed on the block so laying the keel is considered as the construction of time when construction of ship begins so it is very important so it means keel means while it is placed on the top of block and laying the keel is considered as the time when beginning of ship construction started okay keel of ship is the bottom most plate of ship uh, then it is also known as backbone of ship then it is construction of it is first thing that is placed on the block and laying the keel is considered as the time when construction of ship begins so again once more keel of ship is the bottom most plate of the ship laid along the entire length of ship it is also known as the backbone of ship and during construction of ship this is the first thing that is placed on the uh, above the block and it laying the keel is considered as the uh, time when construction of ship begins there are three types of keels their keel are flat bar and duct okay flat bar and duct means flat keel bar keel and duct keel three types of keels are the flat keel bar keel and duct keel okay flat keel flat keel it is a modern type of keel it is a modern type of keel used in all type of sea going vessel using almost all the type of sea going vessel it is using then it is a solid plate which is supported by frames running around the vessel it is a solid plate and it is supported by frames running around the vessel and this flat keel may be fitted in the single bottom hull or double bottom it can be seen in the single bottom hull or double bottom hull and it is thicker than adjoining plates and must be of uniform thickness of 3 by 5th length amidship it must be have uniform thickness of 3 by 5th length of amidship okay flat keel is it, is it is used in modern type of vessel and mostly all type of sea going vessel this flat keel is dominantly used and predominantly used okay we can say and it is a solid plate which is supported by frames running around the vessel it is a it is a solid plate supported by frames running around the vessel and it is fitted in it can be fitted in single bottom or double bottom hull and it is thicker than the adjoining plates with a uniform thickness of 3 by 5th length of length amidship okay flat keel is the modern type of keel used in all sea going vessel and this can be see, fitted in both the single hull and double hull vessel and it is a solid plate with a uniform uh, with a frame supporting around the vessel and it is a thicker it's thicker than the adjoining plates and length is about 3 by 5th that it is having uniform thickness of 3 by 5th length of amidship that is about flat keel we can see from this picture flat keel there will be tank top keel plate center girder and all so this is a picture of flat keel then bar keel bar keel is the first type of keel it has been used since the first iron build ship but it does not provide sufficient strength for big vessel bar keel from the we can understand it is the oldest thing keel that we have used since ever we started building iron ship iron build ship so this have some drawbacks means some lever is all so that it doesn't provide sufficient strength for big vessel so a bar is placed in the center of keel called bar keel a bar placed in the center of a keel known as bar keel so plate in flat in flat keel like that a bar is placed in the center of a keel known as bar keel so either side of the hull attached to a bar keel is called garboard shape this is an important we have studied some, some times this is asked either side of the hull attached to the bar keel is known as garboard strake either side of hull attached to the bar keel is known as garboard shape means either side whether it's port side or starboard starboard side attached to the bar keel is known as garboard strake okay the depth of bar is generally 3 to 6 times its width the depth of bar will be 3 to 6 times its width and these types of keel are incorporated in ferries and boats are vulnerable to this are vulnerable to grounding oh, okay okay these types of keels are incorporated in ferries and boats so that's are uh, so sh short going vessel not a big sea going vessel but nowadays and they are vulnerable to grounding okay bar keel means so it is the first type of keel that is used for the iron build ships and it does not provide sufficient strength for big vessel and this is a bar placed in the center of the keel is known as bar keel and either side of hull attached to the bar keel is known as garboard strake and depth of hull is usually 3 to 6 times than the width and 
these type of keels are mostly seen in ferries and small boats which are chance of security is high so we can see this is a picture of a bar keel okay we can see if a bar is placed on the center of lady sort of um, bar keel and either side of a bar keel is known as garboard streak so keel plate garboard streak we can say bar keel then frames all we can see from the picture then duck to keel duck to keel it is also known as box keel duck keel can be also called as box keel allow pipes and other services throughout the keel length so it allow the pipes and other services throughout its keel length that's an a gate advantage duck to keel means it is also known as box keel it will allow pipes and other services throughout its keel length it is fitted from forward of engine room bulkhead to aft of collision bulkhead it is fitted between forward of engine room bulkhead to aft of collision bulkhead forward of collision bulkhead to aft of collision bulkhead duct keel is provided so duct keel is provided in double hull ship and consists of solid plates welded into box shape forming internal waterway passage running along length of ship so duct keel can be seen in the double hull ship and it is consists of solid plates welded in the shape of a box and forming a internal waterway passage running along length of ship so it is mostly seen in double ship double hull ship it is uh, they made in a form of a box shape and uh, welded into form of a box shape so internal water passage will be there uh, throughout the length of ship so and usually accessed by water type manhole at the forward end of at the forward end of machinery space so usually we will access this by water type manhole end of the forward end of the machinery space duct keel it is also known as box keel and allows the pipes and other services to pass throughout the keel length it is fitted from the forward of the engine room bulkhead to the aft of collision bulkhead it will be provided on the double hull of ship and consists of solid plates welded into box shape forming internal water type passage running along the length of ship it is usually accessed by the water type manhole at the forward end of the machinery space it is known as duct keel we can see here duct keel it is usually seen in the forward end of machinery space to the aft of collision bulkhead tank top it is also known as box keel so because we construction we welded in the shape of a box for the internal passage of water keel plate side girders floors tank top and all then thank you